Hey guys, so it is currently Saturday morning, it's just after half nine and I thought I'd do a vlog today because there's feelings I need to address, concerns, just that sort of jazz. So yeah, I thought, why not just do a vlog? Why not just share that in a vlog? For my breakfast, I'm having porridge. I decided to go for, like, try not to go for granola just because the workouts that I'm doing is not high intense as if I was going to the gym. That's tends to why I have granola, just because it's just bad. I don't tend to have porridge just because it doesn't fuel me that well. Um, so I thought this is, might as well just swap to um, porridge. And anyway, it lasts me longer than granola. I find granola. I swear granola is just, it tends to, it tends to be expensive. And with porridge, you get how many sachets do you get in this one? Um, ten sachets. So, yeah. This is about the consistency I have my porridge. Like I really, I like I really like porridge thick. I just don't like it when it's like really milky. I just can't stand it. I feel like it's thick. So the first thing I want to mention is. I'm not going to be doing any hauls anymore unless they are kind of, unless they are sponsored, which I've got one coming up soon. The reason for that is I feel it's a little bit unfair because there's a lot of people in the world that have lost jobs and I don't want to be ramming, you know, the fact that I still have money, here's a haul, that sort of thing. Even though they don't have to, like, obviously they don't have to click on it, but I still, I don't think, I, don't, I feel a bit... Uh, uh, I feel a bit WhatsApp posts and stuff like that. I may sneak one in like a vlog or something like that and um, just to obviously bulk it up. But for standalone hauls, I won't be doing them anymore. Uh, not until like this is all over. I'd still be doing like reviews and everything like that, the product. I just won't be like doing like standalone haul videos just because I think it's just, it's just not, not really fair. So I got this in a pick and mix bag from um, Protein Pick and Mix. Yeah, they have like a mystery bag. That's what I was meant to say. I got this in a mystery bag. But this is like a pancake. Um, oh yeah, it's like a caramel filling in it. I've not tried these before. I usually like normal pancakes. I, I can't. Literally every time I try to eat a normal pancake, I just want to gag. So I thought I'd try this. And now, on camera, seeing as it's kind of pancakes, kind of like a morning sort of thing. But yeah, so this is whole grain. One has an epic taste, no added sugar, and it's got 16 grams of protein. Well, it looks and smells like a pancake, so. It tastes like a pancake as well. If you look at it, it looks like it's like two pancakes sandwiched together with a caramel filling in the middle. Tastes alright. I mean, I'm not much of a fan of caramel. They do other fillings. But it's alright. It's not making me want to gag. <laughs> Seriously, what was the point? Like, honestly, like, what what was the point of leaving that in there? But just a tip. Don't buy books from Audible and actually subscribe to Audible, otherwise it's a rip-off. Buy the books from the Play Store, Audible books from the Play Store, just because they're a lot cheaper. Um, obviously, it's probably more expensive to try and get you, so you're only paying, you know, so you're paying, only paying a subscription. But if you just want to buy one Audible, then it's a lot cheaper buying on the Play Store. Like, I don't usually go for Audibles, but there's one audiobook I'm looking at. I already have it on, um, I've already had it in physical form, but I feel that during this time that it would be useful to be able to listen to it on the go as well. And it's like, and it's actually read by the actual writer as well, which I prefer. Cause I'm really fussy with audiobooks. Like, if I don't like the voice of somebody, then I'm out, I can't get into it. That's why I don't usually go for audiobooks, but I only want to get this one. I might still get it today just because it'll be useful to listen to it on the go and everything um, during this current situation, which we'll get into later on in this vlog. But yeah, just, just a top tip, basically. Ooh. 
if you are wondering the current book that i'm reading is the storm by virginia bergen i've mentioned this like series before this is the second book i prefer the first book to the second book but sometimes after you read the first book you just want to read the second book after so <laughs> that's why i'm reading this but again i i just prefer the yeah i think i did a review of this i'm not i'm not sure but i just prefer the first one and the second one god knows why the hell i'm watching blues too i mean don't get me wrong, I'm not a massive fan of the first one. Well, when I say it's not a massive fan, I'm like, if I see it on the TV, I won't watch it. If I'm from downstairs, I'm always watching it, but like, I'll go upstairs because it's shy. Like, it's not that, like, it's, you, you get what I mean? Like, I'm not, like, obsessed it, obsessed with it, like, every girl is. But anyway, I'm like, watching this, I'm like, fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, it just comes across as cringe, so I'm just, I think, I think I'm going to stop watching this now. Let's get a little bit serious for one minute. So first off, this weather is driving me insane. One minute, it's like really hot, now it's freezing cold. I'm just like wrapped in my Simpsons throw. Um, but basically, the whole situation is kind of, obviously that we're in, in at the minute, it's kind of, obviously, it's kind of scary, let's just admit it. Um, what makes it worse is, obviously, uh, I at this time i've not been working because if you didn't know who i work for i work for mcdonald's and basically they closed all their stores which was like oh my god thank god um because it got to that point where i didn't feel safe working there and i'd booked a week off and i i, I think i told this story in a, in a other vlog um a while back but yeah so and then it's all closed and then it was announced that they're gonna start reopening stores now my all my feelings towards this is that fast food places shouldn't be open. The only reason why they're they they're open is because apparently people don't know how to use an oven. I know the next thing's going to be harsh, but let's be honest, key workers. Because people mention well, what what key workers are supposed to eat. Um, I think key workers have heard of packed lunch again. That may come across as a bitch, but you don't seem to understand how how this just it just oh. It's like my opinions on being Q and home base, they shouldn't be open. Like you tell people not to go out unless you need to go out, but then they're going to be in Q and buying flowers. Like which you can get online. This is what I don't get. Like, ugh. Anyway. Honestly, it, it just scares me, like going back to work mainly just because I mean there's so much I can say, but I mean Obviously, they said the stuff that they've implemented to make things a lot safer. Um, but one of the things I will be wearing, because I don't do front, and it was like front or wear gloves. What about people in the kitchen? And I'm not being horrible to all the other people, but I don't trust anyone's hygiene. And I ain't going in a salad without wearing no gloves. Because I don't know who's, you know, stuck the whatever. They're just, honestly, if you if you work at my place, you can understand. Um... What else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, and the fact that, that, okay, at first I was like, cool, this is before my mum actually got it, that doing, like, taking someone's temperature before a shift's great. The only problem is not everyone has a high temperature, i.e. my mum never got a high temperature, so the whole second temperature is, is just not going to work because, not ev one, not everyone has that, um, not everyone has a... Uh, what's it effects from it i know there's a word for it symptoms that's it symptoms of it so you've got that and then you've got the other added uh, other added problems not not everyone gets everyone's system, sim symptom and that includes a uh, temperature so that doesn't work and a lot of the people that work with there don't care either so you've got the uh, thing of you want to bet people are going to try and go past the two meters and i'm going to be like can you please go away because i Honestly, my stress levels would be literally high. Like, I've only left the house. Well, I leave the house every two weeks anyway in the car to get to the cash machine. I'd rather not. I'd rather just pay by bank transfer. But my dad, this is bored. But my dad was like, he'd rather have it with cash because it's more hassle, which I don't understand how it's hassle. So I hate that situation. Honestly, the routine I go through once I use a cash machine and I want to get home is unbelievable. But there's that. And then I went. I think it was last week I went for a walk and that was awful. Um, I don't know if, because I ordered a mask, I don't know if that will help me at all, but that I did not enjoy because I was feeling awful anyway. I was feeling awful before the lockdown and obviously usually that's the case, I like to walk. 
um but obviously trying to avoid people because bearing in mind even though when i went it was like it must have been about half seven there's still quite a few people and where i was gonna go i was like i don't want to go there now because um to get to that other place you had to like it was to the point where you couldn't keep crossing the road because that's what i was doing i was crossing the road keep crossing the road to avoid people and the place where i was going to go to it kind of cuts off so there's no pavement so it's just one side and you're walking up a field and obviously there's nowhere to kind of dodge dodge just in case that happened and i just it's just annoyed like it's just so that was utter like i did not enjoy that at all and it just pissed me off like if i was working on the front line i can understand if i got it and i died then it's because i've helped somebody like i've tried to help you know what i mean i've helped try to help people like try and get over obviously trying to fight the corona but the fact that i could die just because some some fat cunt who can't be asked to use an oven wants a burger that's the mean i've got to travel all the way to a fast food joint that shouldn't even be open in the first place just to feed somebody who doesn't know how to use an oven or does not how to prepare food that's the thing that just pisses me off so much like honestly i'd rather be a delivery driver at this point it just i don't trust the people at work following the guidelines because the things that were in before they weren't really yeah that, there's too much i can't say too much i don't even but i don't even you know what i mean i don't even trust the workers i work with and it's just the fact that the journey in there okay my dad could take me there and back depending because he takes my mum to work that there and back as well she's a cleaner uh, which i'd i'd rather not go there because she that's the place she got it the fit in the first place like it's just it's just madness like at first i thought i'd actually be all right because i was like oh i've got a mask but then obviously then my brain decided to like always decided to just go on and on and on and now i just i just don't want to at all but the problem is obviously i if i could i wouldn't be coming in at all if i could if if i if i could drive i'd apply for a driver's job like a delivery person's job and then just put the mcdonald's on hold until it's all over or something like that but i just don't think is this is what i mean i'd rather swap that job for something that's essential but even then i'm just going to be you know what i mean like if i were if i was a delivery driver in the first place then it wouldn't be as bad because i wouldn't have had the time while mcdonald's was closed to go on the internet which is the worst thing you can there's the worst thing you can do in this situation is to go on news outlets oh my god Honestly, the amount of times I panicked because I thought I had corona, like one time. So I was wearing, he what happens is when I wear heavy makeup, eye makeup, so my eyes are quite sensitive. The next day, they are they're really sore. And obviously, I searched sore eyes and I got stuck in a loophole. And I like literally thought I was going to have a panic attack because I thought I had corona. Bearing in mind, logically, without this, thing that's happening i get sore eyes anyway after wearing heavy eye makeup the next day so it's like cinnamon just pull yourself together at this point it probably it ain't helping either that i'm drinking noco that energy drink i only just decided before making another order i only just decided to look because i had rockstar and rockstar doesn't have, have effect and i realized because rockstar has less noco has more um, um caffeine in it noco's i think it's 180 and rockstar's only 155 something around that line i wonder why <laughs> like i can drink like sometimes i can drink rockstar and it still has an effect but it's rare it's you know it's usually monster which is a slightly higher caffeine content but obviously with noco it's like completely that is it i'm just like i'm just curled up in my bed just like just like fucking hell but yeah this is literally a shit situation and i am literally scared to go to work because i i, I, I just the numbers keep popping up every time as well i need to stop looking at that as well like you can look at the um, numbers of people that have died in your area and it's just i need to stop looking at that but i can't help looking at it so then it's making me more paranoid but yeah it's just it's just a shit storm that's happening in the minute and it is not it's just raving havoc on my mental health at the minute because i'm just paranoid constantly to the point as i said that i struggle to even leave the front door thing i said have died instead of have got it when i said that 
the amount you can check the amount of people that have got it. I might say the amount of people that have died in your area. I meant the amount of people I've got it. Um, yeah, I think I said I don't know. I've not checked, but I'm sure I said the amount of people that have actually died from it instead of the amount of people that have got it. So I got a medicine ball because <laughs> the hidden danger zone seems to mark keep using my mum's plant because as it's growing it's getting heavier and I can't really push like push past um failure which is important because I'm using lower weight technically that's not a weight but you get what I mean um I don't want to drop it because it's like it's not plastic it's um what's that material it's something that can smash basically I am just currently chilling and watching How I Met Your Mother, which I have not seen literally in ages. I saw it on and I thought, you know what, I might as well watch that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to probably end this vlog now because I have nothing else to say. And I'm just chilling. It's about, it's coming on to 7 o'clock, so I'm not really going to be doing much. Um, so yeah. I'm back again because I did a little bit of an oopsie. So I ordered some trainers thinking there was size 6 and then I just realised they're USA size so I messaged them and then I checked their customer service on the website and apparently they can't amend sizes because they're cunts so it's like really like a size 6 American to UK is like a size 4 I'm a size 6 like no way I mean I'm about to stretch them to a size 5 but just, I'd have to get one of them stretchy things or fucking find something else to stretch it, but I'd be lucky if I can get them to fit me. So, so that's that's a tip. Bearing in mind, they shouldn't do that because it's I'm on their UK site, so I don't understand why they have, have it on the UK. They've just got a size guide on the bottom to see it converted. I don't know why they've got it in USA. Like, let's be real, that's just shit customer service. But yeah, I'm pissed off. I'm literally pissed off.